This video, I'm going to be going over why Madden 24 just ended, or at least the need to buy new cards probably just ended in Madden 24, at least on the offensive side of the ball. And it's because of the CJ Stroud card. Now, I tweeted about this. I think this is um, the, the, the purpose of doing this or releasing this card at this point in the time, in my opinion, is due to Madden Bowl. But I want to go over the abilities that it gets and why this is the best card in the game and the most valuable card in the game. And the card that you should be using is a clear-cut best quarterback in the game as of January 18th, 2024. CJ Stroud's release um, on, Mutt .g on Mutt.gg, I'm going to pull that up, but I'm pretty sure that it's traditional too. Now, what he gets is he gets Hot Route Master for 1 AP. You could also put Gunslinger on him for 1 AP or uh, Pass Lead Elite. Pass Lead Elite, to me, is much ado about nothing. It is better than Set Feet Lead, but it's not. Um, it's not. You, you can get by with just Set Feet Lead. Perfectly fine. Traditional 2 is his quarterback release. He gets Set Feet Lead for 5 AP. We have a total of 8 AP on offense. He gets Gift Wrapped for 0 AP. So what that means is for 6 AP, you have Set Feet Lead, Hot Route Master, and Gift Wrap. Now, if you want to, guess what you can do? Put Gunslinger on him for 8 AP, a, a total of 8 AP. So this is a super quarterback. So I don't need Gunslinger anymore. I wasn't actually going to use Gunslinger, but now that I think about it, it just makes sense. And then all we're going to do is put Pro Reads on him. This is, uh, or I'm sorry, not Pro Reads. You can do Blitz Radar, Pro Reads. Does he have Dots? I like Dots, honestly. You could just do, I think, Pro Reads. Yeah, Pro Reads gives you Fearless, so we'll go Pro Reads. That's fine. Um, you could also go Dots. I actually like Dots this year better than Pro Reads, but whatever. We'll just do it like this. So what this does is it literally makes it so that you don't need any receiver, even any receiver apprentice on your team, which is the which is the super big value uh, for this card. So you don't have to have slot apprentice. You don't have to have tight end apprentice anymore. You don't have to have any of that because he has the traditional to release. He is able to um, because he has the traditional to release. You don't have to have have gunslinger on him you could have gunslinger on him but he literally gets everything you don't need anything anymore it's like dre archer for example i'm taking all of my apprentices off now in terms of the theme team i'm not 100 percent sure what theme team i'm gonna rock but i do want to talk about why the 50 out of 50 ghost mutt future is still the in my opinion the best team unless you can get the playoff stuff i don't know a whole lot about the playoff stuff to be honest with you but i'm just going to explain why this basically ends the game offensively in Madden 24. Number one, you don't need edge threat or edge protectors in this game. You don't need any offensive line abilities whatsoever. They don't really help you, at least as far as I'm aware. The other reason why is because everybody's rocking this 50 out of 50 Ghost of Mutt Future. With that, you get, um, I got to put another Ghost of Mutt Future on since I took Andrew Luck off of the team. But the point being is that we could get Darius Hayward Bay up to 98 speed. You can get Calvin Johnson up to 99 speed. And here's a little pro tip for you guys. If you didn't know, receivers that are six foot two and taller run routes better on next gen. So you're looking for six two and taller at your receivers. We have Hayward Bay. I got Deion Sanders as well. Deion is only six foot, so that's not perfect for me, but he still gets the job done. I'm eventually going to be able to get Calvin. Um, but basically, this pretty much ends the game on offense in Madden, and we're going to get into a gameplay and show you why CJ Stroud is so good. All right, boys, so we've got a gameplay for you. 50 out of 50 Ghosts of Mutt Future, and then I got CJ Stroud at quarterback. I want to kind of talk about the state of Madden 24 and why CJ Stroud is kind of the last piece and what you need offensively. So number one, obviously the 99 speed uh, threshold. Once you hit 90, I've said this before, but I think once you hit about 97 to 98 to 99 speed, they kind of all feel very similar. I will not say that 97 speed is better than 99 speed or even that they are the same. But the difference that you're going to feel between 98 speed um, and 99 speed or 97 speed and 99 speed to me is a little bit like I don't know that you're going to feel a significant difference, right? A quantifiable difference that you can actually say like, OK, you have to have 99 speed everywhere. But what I will also say with that is the main reason why CJ Stroud ends this game, at least on offense, is due to the fact that he gets the ultimate quarterback stack that you would want to have so he gets gunslinger he gets hot route master he gets everything for 8 ap which you really don't need anything else on this game offensively 
All you literally need are route abilities. Um, if you think about it beforehand, that's pretty much what we were doing anyway. I don't know how I did not catch that pick. So he ends the game on offense. Now, in terms of defense, if you actually think about this game and where it's heading defensively, I would say defense, by and large, has actually gotten better as the game has gone on. I will say, um, I wouldn't say it's like perfect, but I would say it's better than it was like in early October when the original patch came out and defense was just literally almost impossible. Defense is still really, really hard. I'm not going to say that it's not. If you're running dollar, it's a lot easier. Dollar is the clear cut best defense in the game. If you want my full dollar ebook, it's in the Patreon. That's where you get access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks uh, in this game. But the thing about dollar is it gives you the best chance to get a stop. And there's simple things that you can do with it to be able to create pressure, to be able to create good coverage defenses, um, all of that fun stuff. So dollar is a really, really good formation. And if you understand the principle behind dollar, um, it's, it's going to make it a little bit easier for you to play defense. It's going to give you an actual chance against a really, really good player, which to me, um, all I want is a chance kind of thing. So anyways, uh, that being said, let's see, he's going to go to trips here. I'm going to try this coverage. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. This might not work. He might actually score a touchdown. Let's do it like this. So anyway, um, so why does CJ Stroud in this game? Because again, like I said, he gets the best ability stack of any quarterback right now. Now, what that means is once they release a quarterback like a CJ Stroud that gets all of these abilities, it means that every other quarterback that they release that doesn't get those abilities are basically like they're not purposeful and they're not effective and people literally will not use them, uh, which is, which is the big thing. So people are not going to use Jordan love anymore. This literally Jordan loves value plummets. Um, any quarterback that doesn't have CJ Stroud's release or that doesn't have a better release or that doesn't have a better ability stack is, is literally unusable and unpurposeful for them to even release. So that being said, what that then does is it puts the ball back at the A's court where you're just going to get better versions of CJ Stroud. Now he has the traditional two release, which we'll show that off here. Traditional two is, is the second best release in the game. The cool part about CJ Stroud is that he's able to get the gunslinger, which will improve his release a little bit. So you get the gunslinger on him. You don't actually get the gunslinger, um, on Jordan Love as, as well. I'm pretty sure it's just set feet leading hot run master. So that is a factor uh, in this as well. But anyway, running my bunch strong offense. If you guys want to get the, I actually just dropped a massive update. See that release really solid. Gunslinger makes it probably the best release in the game that gets these abilities right now. Obviously, if we get a Lamar Jackson or if we get a, any, any quarterback that has the traditional four release that comes out, he will be better than C.J. Stroud, provided that he gets the abilities that C.J. Stroud gets. One of the cool things now with Hot Master is you can do things like tag a little post route, and now you'll see here, I don't know if I can make this throw. Actually, I was kind of a hot little user catch there. Um, but you see... The ability to put the Hyra Master skinny post, the Hyra Master C route, you literally could put any route on your field. It makes every other, it makes literally every offense in this game viable. It means that you're able to run a lot of different concepts that you're not, you weren't able to run without Hyra Master. And what's really interesting about Madden 24, and I don't think we've ever seen this before in a Madden. They dropped a hot route master quarterback before they dropped a set feet lead quarterback. So if I remember correctly, in the October, I think it was October, we got the Joe Montana card. And that Joe Montana card had uh, the ability to get hot route master, right? But then uh, shortly after that, they dropped the first set feet lead card, which I believe was Kurt Warner. And then they dropped Troy Aikman. And if you remember back in the November live event for the MCS, Henry was the only uh, player that was utilizing Troy Aikman at set feet lead. But people very quickly caught on to the fact that set feet lead is the most powerful ability in Madden 24 has been the most powerful ability in Madden on the, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Okay. So once people started to use set feet lead at a high level, what EA started to do is they basically said, okay, you can have set feet lead and one route ability. So you can have like a, let's say you could have set feet lead. You can't have gunslinger, right? But you can have, trying to remember uh, slot apprentice or running back apprentice or whatever right what that then did was it almost literally made the game go back in time to a place where they didn't have uh, the abilities that they had previously so it kind of made us go back to playing like to a degree without with 
for lack of a better word, like September Madden versus November Madden because you didn't have uh, the abilities that you had previously. So anyways, that played a little bit of a factor into how the game played and just in general, like the life cycle of this game. And now that Hot Route Master, Set Feet Lead, and Gunslinger, you can get all of those on one quarterback, and that quarterback happens to have the second best release in this game, you're only going to get better versions of that same ability stat going forward. And literally the second that you get a Hot Route Master quarterback that has um, a Hot Route Master quarterback with the Lamar Jackson release, which again is traditional four, there's nothing else to be done. Offensively, you don't need route tech. You don't need short and elite. You don't need any of those abilities. And to be honest with you, that is why the Calvin Johnson card becomes even more valuable because Calvin Johnson doesn't get really anything um, special from an ability perspective, but Calvin Johnson is 99 speed on the theme team. So that is the, uh, that is why uh, he is so valuable right now. So anyways, uh, that is kind of the idea in terms of just the state of Madden 24 and, um, and why, you know, the abilities are, kind of where they're at and why the state of the game is going to just kind of continue to shift in that direction. So from a, from a theme team perspective, from a personnel perspective, what's really, what I like about this, and this is just my opinion. Um, but what I like about this is now I don't have to change my theme team every five seconds. I personally, um, I personally just hate, uh, having to change my theme team and having to do all that stuff. I think it's so boring. Uh, to change your theme team a hundred million times to try to get a plus one speed boost. Um, so I'm actually super thankful that CJ Stroud is out. We don't have to worry about this anymore. And we just have the clear cut best quarterback in the game. And it's only going to continue to get better. CJ Stroud is at this point a in-game quarterback, which is uh, what we what we have here heading into Madden Bowl. So Hot Route Master, going to be updating all my eBooks with Hot Route Master setups. If you're not in the Patreon yet, get in the Patreon. $10 gets you access to all of my offensive and defensive eBooks. CJ Stroud just ended Madden 24.